GH spoilers reveal that actor Carlo Rota has unveiled the ambitious plan of his character Sidwell, the villain he portrays on General Hospital. According to Rhoda, Sidwell is not just a typical antagonist, but rather a complex figure with a grand scheme that promises to shake up Port Charles and create new conflicts. This storyline is keeping fans on the edge of their seats as a new villain with deep, calculating schemes emerges. Sidwell's plan doesn't target just one person or family, but has the potential to cause widespread repercussions, altering the balance of power in the entire town. Rhoda shared that his character is intricate and sharp, always seeking to manipulate those around him to achieve his personal goals. Through his calculated machinations, Sidwell is quickly becoming one of the most dangerous threats Port Charles has ever faced. With Sidwell's presence, General Hospital is set to witness a series of explosive events as the main characters confront a new villain with devious intentions. Carlo Rhoda's role brings a fresh, dramatic energy to the storyline with Sidwell stepping into the spotlight with a large and dangerous plan. In the tense developments on General Hospital, Sidwell, portrayed by Carlo Rota, has carried out a series of chilling actions that elevate his character to a new level of villainy. By killing Jason Morgan, one of Port Charles's fearless heroes, Sidwell has thrown the entire town into a state of shock and chaos. Jason, who had always fought to protect his family and friends, fell victim to Sidwellwell's ruthless plot, marking a massive loss for the Corinthos and Morgan families. Jason's death not only shocks key characters like Carly, Sonny, and his family, but it also creates a void in Port Charles's underground security network. Jason had always been the protector, a silent hero to many, but with his death, the town's balance is disrupted. Sonny, Jason's closest friend, is now likely to be swept into a spiral of vengeance while grappling with the unbearable loss. Sidwell didn't stop with Jason's murder. He escalated his plans further by kidnapping Anna Devane, Holly Sutton, and Lucky Spencer. Anna, a seasoned WSB agent with close ties to many powerful figures in Port Charles, finds herself captured. Holly, a mysterious woman with a complex past, also falls into Sidwell's trap, while Lucky, a former cop with an important role in the town, becomes a hostage as well. The capture of Anna, Holly, and Lucky isn't just a power move by Sidwell, but a strategic step to weaken those who might stand in his way. With Anna captured, the town's security forces and key figures are paralyzed, leaving no one immediately able to confront Sidwell. Holly, who has close ties to influential people, is trapped in a dire situation, unable to escape her captor. Lucky, with his complicated relationships, now faces life-or-death decisions he has never encountered before. Port Charles is now in a state of extreme tension, with citizens living in fear of Sidwell's power and cruelty. People are beginning to realize that no one is safe while Sidwell holds the reins of control. Old alliances, feuds, and factions in the town are being ruthlessly exploited by Sidwell to achieve his larger goal, complete control of the underground world and becoming the new ruler. The fight to free Anna, Holly, and Lucky will push key characters like Sonny, Carly, and Dante into dangerous confrontations. They must not only bring down Sidwell, but also cope with the emotional trauma of losing Jason and the threat to their loved ones. Sonny, fueled by his rage over Jason's death, may spiral into a vengeful frenzy, sparking bloody confrontations between the town's factions. Meanwhile, Carly, always the strong figure, will have to shoulder the burden of protecting her family while confronting the loss of the man who always stood by her side. Her sense of helplessness and anger will drive her to become a central figure in the fight against Sidwell. Sidwell's deep-rooted schemes and manipulative nature are turning Port Charles into a stage for high-stakes drama and tension. He seeks not only to bring down those in power, but to systematically dismantle relationships and the power structures within the town. His arrival signals a dark and unpredictable period, where every character in General Hospital faces the risk of tremendous loss. Sidwell's return to Port Charles marks the emergence of a new, dangerous force to be reckoned with. His return brings with it malicious schemes and sets him up to directly challenge two of the most powerful figures in town, Sonny Corinthos and Mayor Laura Collins. This isn't just a battle for power, it's a high-stakes clash between opposing forces in the town. Sonny, the kingpin of Port Charles's underworld, has built an untouchable empire over the years. 
but with Sidwell's return, the underground empire that Sonny controls is beginning to wobble. Sidwell isn't just any enemy. He's smart, ruthless, and knows how to exploit the weaknesses of his rivals. With careful calculation, Sidwell plots to threaten Sonny's authority by preying on the tensions within his family and alliances. The battle between these two powerful men won't just be violent confrontations, but also a sophisticated game of chess to control the underworld of Port Charles. Meanwhile, Mayor Laura Collins, who holds political power, becomes a formidable opponent. Sidwell must face. Laura has always strived to maintain order and security in the town, especially when balancing political power with the influence of the underworld controlled by Sonny. However, Sidwell's presence challenges all of her efforts. He's not just aiming to take control of the underworld, but is also employing dark tactics to undermine Laura's administration. His political plots and schemes to topple her could threaten not only Laura's career, but also the security of the entire town.